Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So um, if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining. I am Jackie and I have a Dollar Tree for haul for you today. I apologize for not coming on recently. I have been busy. I've been on maternity leave. Unfortunately, I go back in like three weeks. Um, if you are new to my channel, you don't know this, but um, I recently had a little boy and he is six weeks old today. I'll insert a picture of him at the end. Um, just so all my returning um, YouTube family can take a look at him. Um, I will show you a Dollar Tree haul. I have one thing from Five Below, and then I have a couple things from Target Dollar Spot as well, and also from the clearance section of Target. Um, I was after the um, some of the home decor in Target, but they didn't have any of that. So um, I will share with you what I found, and I will go ahead and get started. So um, from Dollar Tree, I got um, a ton of candy and um, mainly things for uh, my daughter, for my husband, and for my daughter's um, like class goodie bags, I guess. And I'm going to do a small goodie bag for my own kids. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, you um, probably don't know, but I am a second grade teacher. And um, so I also got some things for that. But I did pick up this Love Each Moment sign. Um, it is full of glitter. Um, I will have to spray it with the hairspray and um, pick some of this extra glitter off, but I just love it. Um, you can tell that the packaging, the way that it was probably shipped to the store, wasn't um, the best because it is a little bowed, um, but they were all like that. I did check. Um, but I think it'll still be cute on my door. I just think it is adorable. And I'm probably going to go ahead and hang it up because I really don't have like an in-between Christmas and Valentine's Day wreath for my door. I feel like I have like every other season. Um, but I don't have like a winter one. So I'll probably just go ahead and hang this one up on my front door. Um, is it made to be outside? No. But for a dollar, I don't really care if it gets messed up. Um, so... And I have other ones, like some Christmas ones that um, I hung up on my door. And we have like a little overhang on our um, patio. We have had it in both houses. Um, and it's been fine um, for that. So, um, just up to you. Um, for my husband, I picked up, let's see. I picked up this card. I don't, I'm not a card person. I don't give out cards. But my husband always gets me one. And so, I kind of feel like I need to get him one. But, um. This just says to my husband, it has like some silver foiling on it. Um, it says, I will love you today, tomorrow, and always. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got the hearts down here. Um, I think I'm just going to throw in um, some type of date night activity for us. Um, with two kids, we don't really get out much on our own. And I've been um, talking with my mom, and she's willing to come up here and um, watch the kids for us. So him and I can go out on a date or something. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to just throw something in there like that. Um, this is a four pack of Sour Patch Kids Conversation Hearts. Um, let's see. Just serving size, one box, 90 calories per box. My husband is a huge Sour Patch Kid fan. And so I thought if these were anything like that, he would like them. Um, I also picked him up these Sweet Tart Hearts. Um, he's just a candy fanatic, period, so. Um, this is a four and a half ounce bag. Um, let's see. Some other candies I picked up. I picked these up for my daughter's, um, little goodie bags for school. She's only two, um, so I have to kind of be careful of what I pick, but, um, I just go based off things that we let her have at home. So I did get the um, 10 treat size boxes of strawberry and punch flavored nerds. I also got some tiger pops. Um, these, these are the swirled strawberry and cream flavored. There are 22 pieces in here. I also got, um, these are the bags I'm going to use. I thought I picked up one more thing for her class. Oh, I probably did this in the other bag. Okay. 
Um, these are the treat bags I'm going to use. There's 40 in here, so I'm also going to use these for my class, um, my class at school as well. Sorry, I don't, I can't. There's such a glare, I'm sorry. Um, it just says too sweet, and it's got the donuts on it. There were several different um, options to choose from, um, but she's only got about five kids in her class, so I'll have plenty. Um, they're 3.8 3 inches wide by 5.75 in height, so I'm just going to stick a sucker in there, a box of nerds, and then I picked something else, but I'll have to figure out what it is when I get there. Um, for my own class, I picked these up just to stick in there. These are also Tiger Pops 22 pieces, but these are just the cherry flavors. There's not swirl. Um, I'm going to stick those in with something that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot. Okay, so for my daughter's own Easter basket, not Easter basket, what am I talking about? Valentine's Day bag basket. I got a basket I will use. Um, I picked these up. These are a Whack-A-Pack surprise greetings. It says, smack the pack and watch and wait. See the surprise. Balloon inflates before your eyes. It says four plus. She's only two, but whatever. I'll be there. So, there's four in here. I thought this would just be a fun little thing for her to do. Um, I also picked up, we let her have dum-dums and, and these are comparable um there's 35 pops charms mini pops um it says fun valentine message on each wrapper delicious cherry flavor they are peanut and gluten free 6.3 ounces so they look like that super cute so i'm gonna put those in there i got some other things too but they came from target um and then for my own pleasure I picked up the now and laters reds there's 40 count um, sweet and sour reds there's a uh, sour watermelon strawberry sour cherry and then just regular cherry this is a six and a half ounce bag also so I thought my husband and I would eat those before they won't make it to Valentine's Day I'll open them as soon as I get done with this video probably Okay, so that's one bag. Let me get that other bag. Okay, so also for her, um, I keep wanting to say like Easter basket or stocking or something, but her Valentine bag, yes, her Valentine bag, bucket, basket, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I got the Itty Bitty Hearts. I discovered these around Easter time last year. I'm like dying in my car. Sorry if you can hear that heat. I didn't realize it was up so high. Um, I got these around Easter time last year, but they were rabbits, and she loved them. So these are the Itty Bitty Hearts, Russell Stover. And I we have a Russell Stover store in our area, and I had to go to the store last year to find the rabbits. But luckily, um, Dollar Tree had them this year. So um, 1.4 ounces. There are 50 mini hearts approximately in there. They're just so cute. Um, also for her stock, see stocking, I keep wanting to say stocking, her Valentine box. I got her some new crayons. She's really hard on crayons and she's broken all of hers. So I got her some new crayons. Oh, this is what I got to put in her Valentine bags for school. Um, there's eight pieces in here and it's the pucker packs. Um, there's two different flavors sour blue raspberry with sour cherry and then watermelon with green apple so you get this pack or you get this pack so i'm sure there's four of each okay um and then this is the basket i'm gonna use it's so cute and it's i mean it's flimsy but it'll work for what i need it for and then i'll either use the bucket in her toy room somewhere or i'll put it away like I you know I reuse her Easter basket over here so maybe something like that I'm not sure yet um for my own self in my house in my classroom for my classroom I picked up this dough um eight uh eight pack brights and neons looks like that I'm sure you've all seen that I um downloaded from teacher pay teacher some um word work activities. Um, I'm going to revamp my word work stations when I get back from my maternity leave and 
one of the word task word work task cards um, and bald play-doh so I needed to get some new play-doh um, for our house I picked up these um, bonus pack six piece power clips um, they're just bag clips but you get like two little ones no you get two miniatures two medium and then two large y'all can see that better than I can in my own thing over here that's weird okay um, so there's two itty bitty ones two mediums and then two larges my husband's asking me the other day if we had used them all because I keep chip clips around at all times um, and I guess we're using them a lot more than normal so there's those uh, oh I also picked up this color is in their new um, spring collection um, by cooking concepts I also got a new set of measuring spoons I'm gonna go home and throw away all my old ones because they're scattered everywhere and I can't find them and it irritates me when I go look for them so okay for myself I picked up the coconut and sea salt bolero facial wipes I just needed some more I'm using the charcoal ones now and they're fine I like them um, but I also got this body oil face body and hair coconut oil and sea salt I wanted to open this I'm not sure if it's gonna work for what I intend um, I'm gonna use the word perfume is what I'm after but I want perfume without it being perfume does that make sense I don't know um, and it isn't a spray bottle so I was hoping I could just spray it right here you gotta give it a few pumps and then rub it in yeah and all you can smell is coconut there's nothing sea salty about it but I really like it so I'm hoping I can just spray it and I did read um, or watch someone's video where they were actually using it in their hair um, which says you can um, I have greasy enough hair all on my own I don't need any help um, so I'm not gonna put it in my hair probably okay so that is Dollar Tree let me get my life back together here and then I can show you um, oh, I did also pick up this craft bottle. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I know you've seen this in everybody's shop with me's, but, um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I knew if I didn't pick it up, I would hate myself later. So I just went ahead and picked it up. And everybody has been comparing these to the, um, the little mason jar ornaments that they put out for Christmas this year and these are much better quality I mean yes they're still plastic but they're much larger and the lid is a much better quality um, I was gonna open it for you but you got to take this off uh, but the lids are much better quality it's not I think it's real metal I don't think it's plastic like the ornaments were okay um, from five below just because that bag is here my daughter needed a new iPad case um, so I just picked her up this pink and purple one she has cracked her screen and it's cracked like up here in the corner so it, we have to keep a case on it but she broke her case also so I got that at five below is five bucks I mean again she's two she's hard on things so all right Target I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker so this video is not forever long um, all things going in her little valentine bucket i got her she has a large uh, magnetic board in her playroom um so i got her these numbers i got her the letters to go with it both a dollar um if you are a teacher though or i mean or have older kids mine won't use it but they have the plus the minus the multiplication the division equals and the question mark um i mean that would be great for them but again she's two she's not gonna do that um i got her new silverware set just because it was only a dollar um it's pink candled it's glittery just a fork and a spoon and i like this spoon um because i mean this is obviously for kids um but this spoon is like much larger than um most toddler or baby spoons so i like that um i also got her just a book i'm very much into educational things when it comes to gifts I have a hard time buying like random toys that she'll play with maybe a couple times um so i'm all into books and stuff like that um it's called i love you even if 
and it was only a dollar um so that's good but it's like has kind of like a riddle to it it's kind of like a rhyme so i like that i also picked her up this puzzle it's a butterfly and it has like all the colors on it um and when you lift up each piece like each little knob right here is a piece when you lift up each piece it's the same color underneath and so you have to match it to the color so it'll be yellow underneath here so she'll have to put the yellow on top of the yellow and we've got our letters pretty much figured out she can say her alphabet um but we're struggling with our colors so this is why i picked this up but again i'm gonna put it in her basket um also i got her this little wood toy it's just like a little car um and the string is wrapped around it but it has like a pool on it it's much larger than this again it's wrapped around the wheel so i'll have to unwrap it but um it comes out of his nose and you just pull it but it's just like a little car for her. um again i am not going to sorry i was reading a text message i am not going to do my son a valentine bucket this year i feel like a horrible mom but he's only six weeks old and it will be me opening it and so i'm just not going to do it um i picked her up some hex bugs batteries there's 12 batteries in here and like a little screwdriver let me tell you what's expensive hex bug batteries are expensive um she got a hex bug for christmas and we accidentally left it on and the battery went dead and now we need more that won't be in her bucket i'm just going to give her those when we get home okay and for my class um that i teach I picked up, again, I'm going to put it with a sucker in those little bags. Um, I picked up slime, yes, slime, as my Valentine cards. So there's six in a pack, so I had to get four packs because I have 21 kids. Um, it says stretchy putty. This one's putty. I can only find three of the slime, but it'll be okay because I have a little girl who loves unicorns, so she'll love this. This one is in unicorns. And there's like green, orange, and blue. And then the rest of them are Uzi Slime. And there are six in each one of these. And they were only a dollar. Um, but they're just little packets of slime. Like the slime's contained, so I'll just tell them not to open it until they get home. And it has the to and from on it. This one has dinosaurs on it, but whatever. Um, but again, orange. There's green. And then the blue. So that is what I'll be giving my kids. I normally go all out for holidays and stuff. Um, we'll do like a little Valentine's party, but since I have two kids and I'm a teacher, I'm broke and anybody that's a teacher knows that. Um, so I don't have tons of money to be spending elsewhere. Um, I'm about to have to put a second kid in daycare and that's gonna eat up my paycheck. Okay, um, also I just found this in the clearance section as is. I've I don't know, maybe somebody ordered it online or something. I don't know. But it was only 76 cents. But is it cactus and avocado sticky note set? Cactus and avocado. Cactus, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't decide if I'm just gonna take this to my classroom or if I'm gonna wait, yes, already Christmas shopping, or if I'm gonna wait until next Christmas to give this to my sister and just stick it in her stocking. We do what we call stocking bags. If you didn't watch my previous video, um, we do stocking bags, and so I think I'm gonna stick this in her stocking for next year. Okay, last bag. And there's only two things in here. But also thinking for Christmas next year. Um, let me see if it has an age on it. I don't see an age on it, um, but it is, oh, it, oh, it's covered up. I can't read it. It's covered up up here. Um, but it's two to four players, twist time, matching card game, indoor or outdoor family fun. Um, it says giant memory hay, uh, mayhem, and then you can see the little cards here. It says you could also play go fish, and it says water resistant cards for outdoor fun. I don't know. I thought it would be fun for her. So I think I'm going to um, use this as a Santa gift next year also. She could do it now, but I don't know that she would understand the concept really. 
so I think I'm gonna save it for next year but it was $9.99 and I got it for $6.98 it's not the hugest hugest is that even a word it's not the largest clearance I've ever seen um, but I mean it was a pretty good deal but let me tell you Target had so many toys on sale so many toys and if I had any idea what my kid would be into by the time Christmas rolled around next year I would have stocked up or if I was rich I mean I would have stocked up there but you know um, Target has their own line of those American Girl dolls and they're not called that I don't know what they're called but um, I was thinking about getting my daughter one of those next year because she's like super into dolls right now um, but they have so many tiny pieces and I'm just not sure a three-year-old she turns three right before Christmas next year and I'm just not sure a three-year-old will be ready for all those teeny tiny little pieces. So I didn't pick any up, but they were on like mega clearance. And whatever LOL surprise is, I'm still not up to date on what that is. Um, they had tons of that stuff on clearance. Lots of boy toys, um, but he'll be one right before Christmas next year. And obviously he's not going to need any toys. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Oh, I also picked up um, Mott's for Tots apple juice. It was only $2. It's um, apple white grape. That'll be okay. Um, I, I get the Mott's for Tots because it is very watered down. And it's the only one that doesn't mess with my daughter's stomach. Um, real apple juice upsets her stomach very easily. And... No one seems to understand that they have to dilute it. So, I can't have it in my house because my husband doesn't understand that. Anybody who comes to watch her doesn't understand that. <laughs> so, um, I don't like to keep it in my house. So, I just buy the Mott's for Tots. It's already diluted um, and it was on sale for $2 and it's much more expensive than a grocery store. Buy, probably buy like $0.68 cents or $0.98 cents or something. But So, that's that. That is my haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm sorry I haven't been on. And I haven't posted anything. I had intended to do a shop with me today at Dollar Tree. But I don't know how you guys do it. I just couldn't muster up the courage to do it. And I was kind of in a little bit of a hurry. I had a doctor's appointment. You can see the doctor's office in the background right here. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. So, yeah, that's that. I um, plan to do a few things in my classroom when I get back. Um, I want to go back in full force. And um, make up for lost time with my kiddos. So, that is that. I appreciate you guys for joining in. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you would like. And thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.